Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions Inc. and I've got another Microsoft Access Expert tutorial for you. Today we're going to look at another one of our database templates. Today we will be looking at the Basic Business Accounting Database, a great place to start if you need a accounting database. So I'm here on the MicrosoftAccessExpert.com website and I'm going to look over here on the left for our database templates and here it is, Access Basic, Data, Basic Business Accounting Database and you can get some information, general information about the application here. There's also a couple of screenshots of the various forms and reports uh, available in the product. You can also get an example of some of the PDF outputs that you can produce. Um, you can also download a version of the demo here, which I will uh, download and show you here in a second. But you also have the ability to buy either the standard uh, edition of this database template or a developer's unlimited edition. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on the demo and say save link as. And I'm going to save this to the desktop. And our file's downloaded, so we won't need our browser anymore. I'll go ahead and close that. This is a zip file. If you need help working with zip files, I will put a link to a video in the description below. Um, for right now, I'm just going to right-click and say Extract All. I want to extract these to my desktop, and I'll show the extracted files when done. Push the Extract button. And here we have our database file, our business accounting demo. We'll go ahead and double click to open that up. We're going to get a Microsoft Access Security Notice. This is actually uh, a warning letting us know that this file has not been added to the Trusted Locations uh, Center in Access. If you need to uh, see a video on how to correct this issue, I'll put a link down below, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. We're just going to go ahead and click Open. So we have our pop-up here that gives you information on how to contact us. You can contact us via our website at www.microsoftaccessexpert.com. You can send us an email. You can also hit us up via Instant Messenger and Skype. We also have the online chat available at our website. And you can also fill out a contact form. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And starting out here, let's look at what we have here. We have an ability to search some transactions. We can maintain some categories, maintain some category types, add a new transaction, um, and we've also got an employee maintenance form and a login form. Um, so let's look here. Sample form of how to set up logins. Let's go ahead and do employee maintenance. So here we would be able to come in and manage our... our um, our employee logins and I'm gonna go ahead and put in a, a new record for myself Brian Myers uh, put in the office phone number here 239-9900 put in my email address here got a termination date currently employed yes and we'll put my username as B Myers and uh, temp pass for my password, and I'll make myself an admin. And we'll click out of the record so that saves. So that's the employee maintenance, pretty easy there. And we'll go ahead and try out this login form. B Myers, temp pass. And I was successfully able to get through. Let's try it again, but let's put in a wrong password here. And you can see in that example, it shows you how you can handle a failed attempt at logging in. So I'm going to cancel out of that. It looks like that closed our application. I'll open that back up. And we'll have to come back out. I got my record is still in there. Um, let's try maintaining some categories. This is different types of uh, work that you could possibly be doing. Uh, you could expand this to... Uh, uh, to your own uh, tasks that you have in your own business uh, very easily by either changing what's already here or removing what you didn't want. Um, you can see that they have a, a type of either an expense or an income. That is also maintainable from the maintain category types where we, we can set what type of task that is. So I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to try adding a new transaction here. Um, I'm going to say access 
development work. We'll say, let's put in a random number here. The date is today, so that's good. We'll select that category and we'll say that this is consulting services income and we'll put it at our hourly rate of 125 um, did some access work for a client and then we'll go ahead and say save and close but you do also have the ability to print cancel or save and come back to this form but I'm gonna save and close now let's search our transactions and I'm gonna search um let's see here let's go by uh income and i'm going to search all the records and there is the entry that i had made uh just a second ago i did some access work so we can see the records there if we do an income search all let's see if there's any other records in here i think this database is pretty empty um, let's just do a blank search. Yep, it's just got my one record in there right now. Now you can also get those uh, transactions by category as a PDF. Uh, nice report there. Uh, transactions by category summary. Another report that you can get out of the system. Uh, transactions by category type. Uh, got lots of uh, reports here. We got uh, transactions by category type summary where you can see it's uh, just showing what records we have um, and displaying them in a little bit different different way we can also export our search to excel um, this little button here will launch excel and it already has the records in there for us so you can use this to transfer information from database to database create your own custom reports um, it's a nice little uh, database to start out with uh, we won't save that um, so that's the uh, Microsoft Access uh, basic business accounting database. Um, feel free to download the demo and try it out. Uh, if you like it and you'd like to get a, a full version, you can go to the website and purchase either the standard version or the developer's version. If you need help implementing this into a current database or would like to start a new database from this database template, feel free to contact us. As always, join us on the social media networks. We'll put links to those below and have a great day. Thank you.